Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak Photo and today we're having a quick look at the pre-release version of Luminar Neo. Now today we start our quick tour on the catalogue view which gives us a sort of nice flat view of all the different photos in the location that we're browsing. We can also create our own albums. So for example, I can take this photo and drag it into my album. Clicking on the album reveals the photos within at which point I can right click on any photo, set a flag, a favorite rejected or unmarked. And for photo management, that's about it. Uh, unlike its contemporaries, uh, Luminar Neo lacks things such as keyword tagging uh, or ranking your photos, uh, nor does it have access to more advanced features such as face recognition or geotagging. Double clicking on any given image, loads it into a view tab, and we can sort of click on the photo, zoom in, have a pan around. And as you can see, it's all pretty responsive. As is, moving from one image to the next. And as you sort of make your way through Luminar Neo, you're not going to be waiting for it to do its thing all that often. Once you've found an image, we can click on it and click Edit. And that brings us into the edit tab. If you've ever used Luminar AI, you're going to be right at home with Luminar Neo. It's effectively the same interface, except Luminar Neo does have a few new tools, most notably Erase AI, um, Relight AI, uh, and a background replacement uh, setup, which is coming soon. But starting with the basics, we have a simple develop mode, which enables us to sort of boost exposure, uh, pull back the highlights and lift up the shadows. We can also, as usual, do a sort of tone curve there if we like. We have sharpening, noise reduction and lens correction. As you'd expect, we have all of the Luminar AI tricks. So we have things like enhance AI. So if you're not really sure what does what, simply clicking on these until you get a result that you like is a absolute acceptable way of processing an image. As I mentioned, the Erase AI, so this is simply a masking tool. I do cover this in another video, but it's very neat. And aside from simply painting out uh, distracting clutter, with one click, you can remove power lines and remove dust spots that you might have on your lens or sensor. Now this being a Skyland product, we get some of its greatest hits. So for example, we get Sky AI, which is Luminar's sky replacement feature. And by using this, I can simply drop in brand new skies. And not only does it insert the sky, but it will also relight the rest of the scene to match. And if it doesn't quite fit, as in this case, there's various different sliders to get perfect results. And if you really feel like going over the top, we can even go full Michael Bay and add some sun rays. If you happen to be editing a portrait, Luminar Neo also has the portrait booker or bouquet AI trick. So we can use this to basically take our selfies and portraits and anything taken on our basic cameras and retrospectively apply background blur. Not only that, but we can sort of adjust the brightness of the background independent to the subject. We can sort of add a bit of sparkle with a little highlights glow. We can adjust the white balance of our background and alter the depth so simulating a large aperture or in other words bringing our blur forward and backwards let's go full out max and then finally again from luminar ai we have our skin ai and that gives us the ability to shave a few years off our subject or remove a little bit of shine. But otherwise, that's about it for Luminar Neo. 
if there's anything else you would like to know, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, uh, Luminar Neo is available to pre-order now. And if you do pre-order it now, you get access to the early release version, which is the version you've been watching, and you get that immediately. And as it stands at the moment, Luminar Neo, the full version, is due for release in February 2022. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Bye-bye.